YouTube. Well, first full day back in Phoenix and uh, just getting off a real shit poker session. Um, just one of those sessions where like, you know, my kings got cracked by ace jack off suit in a three bet pot when I was on the button, really sick. Queens run down by jack 10. Ace is cracked by jack nine. Wednesday and we are gonna go to uh, Talking Stick and we're gonna play a little play that 125 uh, morning buy-in tournament and uh, we'll see how it goes um, you know we'll make a little deal um, you know if one of us cashes what do we do uh, there's gonna be some kind of split so uh, it's that short session at uh, the horse and, uh, we put in about three hours and made exactly 200 bucks 200 uh, we'll take it Talking stick, hundred twenty-five dollar buy-in, first break. Thanks. A couple interesting hands here. Um, I guess most of them know would be. Uh, I think they pocket queens about ten hands before our break here. Blinds at two hundred, four hundred. Pick him up under the gun plus one. Behind and under the gun limper. So I make it uh, 1350 to go. Folds around to the small blind who calls. Or I'm sorry, the big blind who calls. Under the gun limper calls. Uh, flop comes out uh, fairly dry, but it has an ace. Ace, brick, brick. It checks to me, and I think this is actually a pretty good board to bet. The big blind has been a very loose, uh, pretty active player. And um, I'm sort of planning on maybe double barreling here if the big blind check calls and probably just going for the single barrel give up if the under the gun one check calls so um, I go ahead and just bet out about half pot big blind folds uh, under the gun one does call so I'm kind of done with the hand uh, he's very ace heavy here um, turn comes um, a brick <laughs> he checks I check river comes a queen so we got a set. We don't have the nuts because we have an ace queen 10 out there. Uh, no flush available. He checks to me and I decide to go ahead and make my hand look like a bluff. He's, um, he's definitely got 
tons of bases in his range here, probably ace rag, and I don't think he's the type of player who's going to be able to just like lay it down, especially after I check the turn. So I go ahead and I bet out 5k, and he decides to like pretty much insta jam. Uh, he pretty much never has King Jack here, so we go ahead and make the call with the nuts. He probably has aces up. Turns out he has ace six of diamonds. He turned a flush draw along with his ace, and uh, that was it. Why he jammed it, I don't know. But right now we have an average stack of 13,000. I am at uh, just over 32K, and let's take it from here. Let's go. I guess, you know, one hand, um, we had an open raise from late position, uh, a rejam from the button. Uh, I looked down in the small blind at Ace King of Hearts. Um, the open raiser was at my starting table, and he had mentioned that he had to go at 3 o'clock, so I knew that he was looking to get his chips in, so um, I just rejammed that for like 40 big blinds, and he called off with Ace Queen of Diamonds, and uh, we not only held against the ace queen, but we also beat the button shove who had pocket fours because we hit an ace. So that's where we are. Um, we're probably top five or six stacks, uh, 15 payouts, and uh, we're just going to kind of take it from here. Um, I don't love my table right now. We got a few guys who are pretty fearless pre-flop and who are willing to um, shove when they should be shoving. So got to be a little bit careful and um, they're kind of right on my left and I have a big stack on my left too so um, I think we need to play some hands for value at this point and um, hope to pick up a couple of hands and have things kind of just you know play in our favor um, if I start to you know do some chips then we're gonna have to find some spots though so let's go morning after the tournament and it was just one of those tournaments like I was um, chip leader like well over halfway through the field 141 man field I was chip leader with like 60 players left I want to say and um, after the second break um, and one of the first levels after break two, the blinds go from 600, 1200 to 1000, 2000. So like all of a sudden, even the big stacks get cut down to like 20, 25 big blinds. I was at 21 bigs. And shit just happened. Like a couple of failed blind steal attempts. Um, I had to call a 3x raise from late position um, when I was in the big blind with ace nine of diamonds with the flop. I had to raise pre-flop with seven deuce of clubs because I had a physical tell on all four players behind me that they were all ready to fold their cards. So I just like two and a half X'd it. Big blind called me though, who I had no read on. She had just won a big pot and she seemed like the type who was going to be pretty willing to just kind of fold her hand and keep on stacking her chips. She called. Uh, flop came out ace high, all hearts. I didn't pair up. She checked to me. I downsized um, for my continuation bet and she just jammed on me. I was like, Jesus. So I guess that's like an ace with a heart, something kind of like that. Ace queen with the queen of hearts. I don't know. And then she just kind of went down from there. I made another pre flop raise. Um, short stack jammed on me. So I had to call off like another like four big blinds, lost that one, and uh, shit just kind of, you know, that happens. That happens. It was, it was tough to take though. I took 39th out of 141. 15 players got paid out, and uh, yeah, it was it was rough. Um, 
but you know, you know, I had that big loss on Saturday, and I've come all, I've, I've come all the way back from it. I'm up, including that loss. You know, I'm up three hundred some dollars for the week. So like, it's it's fine. It's fine. Back of the horse. Play the Saturday morning session and uh, in for 300, out for 598. Plus, they had this promo going on where you buy in for a certain amount, play for a certain amount of time through a certain hour, and you get a $50 um, promo chip to be played on the table games out in the casino out in the pit. So, let's just call that a value of like $22, and uh, let's call it a win of $320 today. Um, I didn't earn that $22 value through any hands that I won, but it basically functions as, as like rake back. You know, online pros know, know what I'm talking about, and uh, that's part of their income. So, Let's call it a little bit of rake back today, so up 320. Uh, perfect end of the week.